at Build a Machine Fitness, and I'm really excited to welcome you to our National Ninja League Season 7 Traditional Course Qualifying Event. Uh, make sure you watch this rules video very thoroughly. Watch it several times. Make sure you have a good understanding for each obstacle in the rules, as we will not be doing a live walkthrough, and we will not be doing a live demo. At the start of each wave, we will be allotting five minutes for questions, answering those, and then we are going to be getting right into course runs. Um, as with any National Ninja League qualifier, um, all NNL rules will be followed, so please make sure if you're not yet familiar with the Season 7 rulebook, take a look at that. A few rules to point out that will be general throughout the entire course. Um, as always, with any grips, no straps, chains, links, hardware are in play. Only the obstacle itself can be engaged. When you are um, completing an obstacle on a um, landing platform, there is a three-point completion requirement. You must disengage the obstacle, you must engage the landing platform, and your entire body must clear the plane in order to clear that obstacle. In this scenario, which you will see several times in our course, um, where the landing platform then becomes your starting platform, in the case of a spillover, you will have completed the previous obstacle, but failed the following obstacle. For scoring, you will earn one point for every um, successful obstacle completed up until the point at failure. At that point, your time and score will be um, registered in the Ninja Work system, and all athletes will be allowed to complete the course within the time allotted. Um, other than that, resetting will be allowed throughout the entire course. Incidental will be allowed, but as always, I caution you to please don't put us in a scenario where we are having to um, make the decision of was it incidental or was it aiding you? Um, in those cases, it will be up to our referee's discretion on if it is incidental or if it's aiding you. So as always, you know, just take caution when doing that. All right, guys, let's get going right into the rules. We're excited to show you our course. All right, here we are at obstacle one, easing back in. Starting platform is the stepper which I'm standing on. Finishing platform is the final orange octagon at the end of the run here. This is a hands and feet obstacle. In play, we have two foam precision trainers, two other um, orange octagons in play. Here we go. Clear. Obstacle two is swing thing. Starting platform is the octagon which you just finished your last obstacle on. Finishing platform is another orange mat at the end of our ring line. Um, the way we have this set up is for the kids' age group. Different age groups will see a slightly different setup um, with the rings here, but it won't be drastically different. Okay, so it is a hands-only obstacle. Rings are the only thing in play. is the orange mat which you just finished your last obstacle on. Finishing platform is the orange octagon at the end of our sonic curve. Um, it is hands and feet on all the steps within the curve. Clear. Okay, obstacle four is Lash A Lane. Your starting platform is the orange octagon which you just finished the previous obstacle on. Your finishing platform is the wooden box at the end of the outside of the rig. This is a hands-only obstacle. In play, you have four bars within the middle of the rig and one bar on the side. They will all be clearly marked with tape. after the second rope swing. For the yellow rail, hands and feet will be allowed on both short edges. These will be marked clearly with tape. So this short edge and this short edge, both top and bottom, will be in play with hands and feet. For the long edge in the middle, feet will only be allowed on the top of the rail. 
And then with our ropes, it is going to be hands only. is watch your grab. Starting platform is the raised blue platform, which I'm standing on. Finishing platform is the orange mat. It is a hands-only obstacle with the bar in play. Okay, obstacle eight is the stegosaurus. Starting platform is the orange mat where you just finished the last obstacle. Finishing platform is the orange mat at the end of the obstacle. This is a feet only obstacle with feet only allowed on the caps of the PVC pipe for competition. These will be painted a separate color so it will be very clear for you to see what's in play. The Banff Teeth. Um, this is a hands only obstacle. Um, starting platform is the orange mat, which I'm standing on. Finishing platform is the orange mat in the end. You have a cannonball and a T ledge before you get to the actual Banff Teeth. With those, only the vertical hanging down boards are in play. Um, with the T ledge, for men, you are not allowed to top it. Women, we are allowing you to top that. Okay? Your starting platform is the orange mat that I am on. Finishing platform at the end of obstacle 11 is a small green mat. Um, for the obstacle 10, flying squirrels, in play you have the silver bars for both the flying squirrels and you have the far trussing in play, the upper trussing, and then the side support. Your linking touch point will be one of our um, Tetris pegs. Um, either or, there's two of them in there, whenever you touch one, that is your linked clear into obstacle 11. For obstacle 11, then it is a hands-only obstacle, um, hands-only allowed on the grips of the um, Tetris pegs. Um, those can be moved across the board till you're able to get to your landing platform at the end of the trussing.
clear, I will allow contact with this um, as long as it's not grabbing. Okay, final obstacle is our hook line. Starting platform is the green mat, which you just finished the last obstacle on, so don't spill over. Finishing platform is the orange mat at the end of the line. There will be a buzzer waiting there for you. Your time will stop when you engage the buzzer. You have feet in play on the rail trainers and hands only allowed. I am demonstrating this with cannonballs. You will have gumdrop hooks um, on the night of the competition. the buzzer. 